Hello guys, happy Tuesday. I know that it is still the beginning of the week and everybody's probably like, shut up, it's not happy Tuesday, right? Right. Well, as you can see, I have my face done and my eyebrows done and we're gonna do some eyes and lips and then we're gonna use our SPF 25 finishing powder to blend out this harshness, okay? So when you join me, hop on, say hello. Um, I've got a story to share with you as we do makeup and I'm not going to say that even though I have help that I won't cry because this is crazy, okay? It just blew my mind. Hey Chrissy, hey Rita, hey Beth, hi Marie. Thank you guys so much for hopping on and don't forget to click like and share and if you have not followed me, um, my friends list is maxed out so make sure that you click on my nose right there and it'll pop up this little thing and just say follow so that way you can follow me get makeup tutorials um, uplifting quotes because I am just now realizing that some of the small things that you do in life can really really touch people when you least expect it okay what I want to talk about it's crazy it'll give you cold chills it, it did me anyways hey Caroline hi hey uh, Sylvia hey Melissa hey Sarah Okay, so I'm gonna do some eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and um, highlight with my Optimistic as we listen to some Kenny in the background. I kinda hope that it's turned down enough so that I don't get put in Facebook jail. Thank you, Rita, for sharing. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Tina. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Darcy. Thanks, guys, for hopping on. And we're gonna take Optimistic under the brow and in the tear duct, and then we're gonna add a little bit of color and line out these eyes. Hi, Darcy. Hey Katarina, thank you guys for joining. I appreciate you hopping on. We're gonna do makeup, of course. Uh, we are going out of town. We have uh, to wait on our house sitter to get here. Um, we're gonna leave today and drive and go shopping and stay and then get up tomorrow and drive the rest of the way to my mom. So I'm so, so, so excited to see my family. Um, yes, please like and share. Okay, so that was optimistic. Now we're gonna grab um, a collar and we're going to use lively hey amber so we're gonna put this on our breaking crease and then we're gonna put a darker shade um, in the V and then we are gonna use a liquid um, was I gonna use this one I thought I was gonna use another one but yeah we're gonna use a liquid eyeshadow today which I love Crystal Cove and it is hey amber and it is actually um, waterproof so you're gonna love it if you are out by the pool and get splashed or anything so that's awesome hi Chelsea hi Holly so this is lovely and we're just gonna apply this to our breaking crease area and maybe to our outer V too hi Debbie okay so we have 33 people on here so I'm gonna go ahead and start telling you you guys know that I'm always trying to uplift be positive to everybody thank you Katie for sharing I appreciate it um, I leave, you know, inspirational quotes because I always tell God when I'm praying, I'm like, you know, I know I'm not perfect and I know I need some, some words and some help too. Um, me too, Chrissy. It is awesome. All of the uh, liquid shadows are. Um, but, you know, when I ask him, you know, to use me and, you know, if it's with a word or an action or a quote or whatever it is, you know, you see all my posts um, all the time and people will message me and say hey girl is everything okay are you going through something and I'm like no you know God just laid that on my heart you know it doesn't always pertain to just me and what I'm going through thank you Casey for sharing hey Lisa um, so you know I want you guys to understand that not everything I post is is personal to me and my feelings but hi uh, who was that I'm sorry I missed you hey Lisa hi Bobby hi Faith um, so what I want to say is when I ask God to use me in any way he sees fit or any anywhere that he sees fit, absolutely, Bobby, you know that. Thank you, Debbie, for sharing. Um, he has done that. And, you know, I don't realize that what I'm saying or what I'm doing or my actions or my words or my posts are hitting anybody in particular or making them think, oh, my gosh, I needed that today or touching their life or doing what they're doing. Um, until I get a message from someone saying, oh, my gosh. You know your words or what you said hit me right in the heart or I needed that today and I'm like you know what God knew you needed that so he knew you were gonna see my post and he gave me the words and the actions or whatever it was I was doing to let you know so 
Yesterday, if you joined me on my live, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you, I'm using Marvelous out in the outer edge, and we're just gonna blend this out really well. Just kind of adding a little depth to the outer edge here. Um, hey, Lillian, hey, sissy. So if you watched my live yesterday, you know that at the end of my live, and if you didn't watch it, it's still up, they stay up, and you can just um, fast forward to the end. Hey, Candace. Uh, well, thanks, Debbie, but I try, trust me, it's the products and it is truly the um, tools, trust me. Um, but I said something about, you know, if you love somebody, it doesn't have to be your friend, it doesn't have to be your mother, it doesn't have to be your husband, you know, whoever you feel has touched your life or has made an impact on your life that is important to you, we never know what tomorrow is going to bring. Um, so tell that person I appreciate you you know what you do for me or what you've done for my life or my family or whatever the situation is I appreciate you but you know what also you don't know what you're going to say when you say I love you when you're hanging up the phone when you're leaving that person when you haven't talked to them in a while give them embrace them give them a hug and say you know I love you if they think that you're strange or that you're weird whatever you know what that's what you have felt and you know what that little hug that little I love you um, can absolutely change their day it can change their mood it can change their life and somebody may not think that they have touched somebody's life or that anybody cares about them or that they're lonely or you know I don't have any friends yada 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 whatever is going through their mind you will not always know okay hey Kelly hey Nicholas I'm gonna take marvelous underneath with a crease brush while I'm talking um, and if they, if you really truly love them as a friend, like I said yesterday, friend love is different than a husband and wife love. It's different than a mother daughter love. It's different than any love. It's a friendship love that you truly care about that person and their well being and that you appreciate them in your life and they have actually made an impact or changed your life in some way or another and brought brought light to your life. Like. I, I, that's why I say through um, unique and I hate to keep throwing that out at you but through unique I have met the most amazing women that I would have never crossed paths with before and I say that because God has put them in my path because God gave me unique when I didn't know that I needed it you know he put it in my lap and I was like why am I doing this you know I'm not gonna sell I'm not gonna do home parties I'm not doing this I'm not doing that but he had other plans for me, so I went with it, okay? So I've met all of these amazing people. I'm not even going to just say just ladies because I've met amazing men, you know, as well. So my story that I'm getting to is because of the fact that, you know, it's God's work. And he knew what we needed, when we needed it, who we needed, and why we needed them. And for how long we needed them. We don't always need somebody for the rest of our life. You know, they come in, they leave, they come and do what they're supposed to do. They shape your life, they form it, they give you a lesson learned, and they move on. That's God's plan. It's not yours. You may not like it. As you all know, I lost a friend to some silly situations. And it still breaks my heart to this day. But I have to let it go and trust his plan, okay? Hey, Elizabeth. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of Crystal Cove on the lid while I'm still talking. So I'm blessed beyond measure with the new friendships that I've made that have truly impacted and changed my life. Truly. So, thanks, Marie. I believe that too. Like I say, I ask him all the time, please use me. I don't care how it is. Okay, we're putting this right on the lid. Um, but this morning I wake up and let me just tell you, after being so pumped up for our North Putnam Little League girls, shout out to them. Woohoo! They are going to states. I'm so proud of them. The only North Putnam team that was in All-Stars that made it past regional. So we are so proud to the purple and gold. Um, but I was so pumped up. I could not even go to sleep. I had things to do. I knew I had to get packed today. We had to finish mowing the grass. I need to go run a couple errands before we leave. So, I could not go to sleep, and I was up until 5 o'clock. So, I'm sleeping in until, hey, Patricia, hey, Alicia. Um, so, I slept in, of course. I love my noon mornings. And when I woke up, I, of course, grabbed my phone because it's dinging off the hook. And I'm like, okay, I know people are needing me, and I'm going to check it. Well, I had this message from this girl. Okay, so we got Crystal Cove on there, and we're going to just blend this um, attached line here. 
and she says something to the lines of, you're going to think that I'm crazy. Hey, Kimmy, you're going to think that I'm crazy. We aren't friends on Facebook. I don't know you, but while I'm getting ready for work this morning, I was watching, I think she said she was watching a video or I don't remember what it was she was watching. If she's the one here, she can tell me if she wants to say her name and be noticed. I did not know this lady and I'm like, no, it's perfectly fine. I get messages all the time from people that I don't know. So absolutely reach out to me. I do too, Tammy. Thank you. Um, so when she messaged me, she's like, I was watching something on Facebook this morning. She was aggravated, you know, not having a good day. And, um, she doesn't like Mondays. And I said, happy Monday in my video. It was yesterday's video, but she said that she was scrolling through. We're going to use a dip and draw today in brown. And that is, um, prominent, but she said, um, your video popped up and it just started playing automatically and she says I don't follow you I'm not friends with you and it was just so weird that your video started playing and the very first thing I heard was happy Monday and I don't like Mondays so I knew that you know it was something that triggered her to listen but then again she thought you know this is the devil working yes she was in the shower thanks Dina she was in the shower and that sounded funny because I never say your name and she was in the shower and she was like, you know, I had went through something yesterday and um, I was thinking that it was the devil and I was like, I'm going to rebuke you. You know, don't, don't come in here. You know, I don't need to listen to this, blah, blah, blah. So she started to turn it off. Well, then she messaged me and told me all of this. And I said, well, maybe the reason why my video popped up for you is maybe you went through something yesterday that my words at the end of the video, because I said yesterday, I don't know why I'm saying these, you know, it just popped into my head, somebody needed this, but um, maybe you needed those words that I was saying. And I told you from the beginning that I will probably cry because even though I have help, this story is like, it's, it's got me speechless and it's given me chills. And she was like, you know what? After I listened to it and I realized what you were saying, she said I had a friend slash coworker that they had a little disagreement and um she told herself that she was not going to forgive this girl even if she if she messaged her and said she was sorry or she apologized to her or whatever but yesterday my my discussion was about forgiving people if they come to you with a an open heart and the true respect for you to apologize to you for something that has happened maybe they didn't personally do it to you but maybe it just happened between you all and you had a disagreement. Whatever the, the situation or the issue, hey, Kim, whatever that situation was, maybe, you know, they felt the need to come to you and just say, you know what, I want to clear the air. I want to, because um, this happened to me the night before, me and my husband. And everybody's asking if it was the friend that I'm no longer close to. And it was not the person, even though I wish it was, she, it was not her that came to me and apologized. But this girl that came to us and apologized, um, hey guys, hey Christy, hey Chris, um, she came to me and apologized and, you know, it touched my heart and it just did something for, for me and gave me so much more respect and it just filled my heart with joy when she came to us and said she was truly sorry and it made me just... Um, yeah, I've had several messages to me about, you know, if it was, and I was like, no, it's, it wasn't sadly, but, um, so I thanked her and I think we have a newfound friendship. Like I did not really, I mean, we've talked on Facebook, but we didn't personally know each other and we live close. Um, and so when she came up to us, it just literally put a tear in my eye and just joy in my heart. I was like, I have so much respect for you. And she was on here just a minute ago. So she knows who she is. And I truly, truly respect her and love her. And I'm so thankful that she did that because I would have never known that that was the person that we had the issue with, okay? Hey, Julie. Hey, Brooke. I know, Kimberly. I know. Um, but back to the girl who was watching my video that just popped up. She told me that the girl had messaged her, her coworker, her friend, that they had a disagreement, issue went on yesterday and she said you know what I don't care if she comes and apologizes I'm not forgiving her she, she had that hard heart because she had been hurt and she was aggravated and she thought it was the devil attacking her and she said even if she comes to me I'm not accepting her apology well then upon listening to my video and the end of my words 
she said the girl messaged her and she had let it go for a while, like all day. And she said after she read mine, she immediately responded and accepted her apology. <sighs> so I was just like, chills. Like, because she was like, you know what? That is just the craziest thing how I crossed your path because you were doing a video. Here I am thinking it's the devil. Here comes makeup in my face. You know, I'm in the shower and I'm just listening and I'm like, why do why is this playing? I don't know this girl from Adam. And then at the end, she speaks directly to the situation that I was going through the day before. And that moment has just seriously brought tears to my eyes because it wasn't me. It was not me that was saying, and I'm getting ready to put on mascara and my eyes are tearing up. It wasn't me that was saying, forgive that person, love that person, tell that person you appreciate them before the day is gone. It was God telling me to tell you guys to do that because I asked him to use me and he knew that this girl's friend, and what was so weird is her name, her name is Stephanie, I'll just say that, and whenever I was talking on the video, I said, well, hi, Stephanie, I haven't seen you in a while, I miss you, and we haven't talked, but it was a different Stephanie, but it was like God was telling me to talk to Stephanie, the new friend, so I deleted one of my friends, because I'm on my max friends list on Facebook, and I told her that God crossed our paths for a reason, and it is a God thing. And I had Lorena, hello, Marcia. And I was just like, we are going to be friends because, you know, we live in the same state, not too far away from each other. And he crossed our paths for this, for whatever reason it is that he did. And we just have to trust him and go with it. And she believes the same thing. And it just really, really blows me away. I mean, I get messages quite a bit that someone appreciates what I do, what I say, what I post. But this one just was different. It was just crazy because we were complete strangers. She's never watched me before on, on Facebook Live. She's never bought from me. She's never been in my VIP group. Nothing. I did not know this girl before she messaged me today. And that, my friends, is God's work. That is beyond anything that I could control. That is anything that I could do or she could do. Um... It, and it just happened. And like I said, I told her, I said, I have chills and I'm speechless, but I don't know why I am because the way he works is super mysterious. We're going to do another coat of Epic on the top lashes. And you should not question it. You should just, like I said, I embraced her immediately because she thought I was going to be, a, she, she had the feeling that I was going to think she was a crazy person messaging me because she didn't know who I was or I didn't know who she was. And thank you, Brenda. And here she is messaging me this out of the blue. And I was like, absolutely not. I am thrilled. I would have, you know, if I would have went through life and not known this, you know, it, it wouldn't have blessed me the way that it did. And I was just like, wow. It, it, thank you for, thank you, Stephanie, for reaching out, out to me. It really made my day. Made my day. See, that's what I'm saying. It could change somebody's day. Your words can say um, whatever and change somebody's day. So that is my, my gift to you today is, again, if there is somebody out there you need to apologize to, if there is somebody out there that you love, that you treasure as a friend, whatever the case may be, and you haven't reached out to them, do it today for me, just for me, okay? I'm just asking you to do it for me because it could change everything. And if you reach out to them and they don't reciprocate, then you know and you understand that you did your part and you walk away. So, okay, we're going to blend out with this is our Touch Behold SPF Finishing Powder. Yes, he does. He knows what we need, when we need it, who we need, when we need them, and for how long. Absolutely. And like Kenny's singing right now, I loved you from hello. So see, when you meet people and he brings them into your life, don't question it. Don't question it. Just go with it. Just embrace the new friendship. Just embrace the new group or, you know, God brings people into our lives every day. Just when I think I'm going to say I'm tired of meeting new people because I keep getting hurt by friends. I can't say that. I can't quit because I love people. I mean, granted, I say all the time I hate people because people 
are mean and they get on my nerves, but the people that are surrounded by me, thank you, Sydney. Hi, Amy. God places them there, and they're there for a reason and a lesson. And if they aren't uplifting me and giving me positivity in my life, then I am learning. I'm going to soak it in, and I'm not going to let that happen again with somebody else. So I'm okay with that. Okay, so we're going to do prodigal today on our lips because it's kind of matching our shirt or my shirt that I'm wearing. So here we go. I hope that has hit hit somebody else today. Hopefully that was needed by someone else. And if it was meant for you, if it, it did something for your life or for your friend or for whatever, please let me know. Please. I mean, I get blessings out of that. Okay. I'm not normally a prodigal kind of girl, but we're going to put gold over it with the Kissed um, highlighter. Oh, girlfriend, they have been. Yes. <laughs> and I take it to a point, I really do, but I have a breaking point because I don't really have a happy medium of letting somebody walk all over me or just attacking. But when it comes to my family, like my son or my husband or someone's attacking my mom or my sister, man, I'm going to just pounce right on them in a heartbeat. <laughs> but if someone's attacking me, they have to attack me and attack me and attack me. I'll forgive you and then I'll forgive you. But then that final attack that just... I can only take so much and then I let them have it because I'm like I don't know what I'm doing I'm trying to fix it I'm trying to be nice to you I'm trying to be kind and not give you backlash words ask my sister she asks me all the time how do you do that I couldn't do it I would just rip them a new one and I'm like <sighs> because sometimes when you kill people with kindness it makes them take a step back and look at themselves and say wow okay I just put my foot in my mouth so you know wake them up shake them up hey Marcy okay I'm gonna do this as my highlighter and put it on my lips in the center just in the center if you have not got your beachfront kissed collection make sure that you go on missybowls.com open you a shopping link under the party or give me your email and I'll help you and you're gonna get $20 whack hash to spend later on new products or a different collection and one half price item you can use on a collection or any one item and they're good for a year so don't miss out on the beachfront collection. Get this amazing bag or uh, make sure that you get our kudos before this month is over. Hey, Erica. So, okay, let's take our finger here. Oops, I just dropped a brush on my lap. And we're going to put this right. Kill them with kindness. Absolutely. Because, like I say, if you do that, I mean, I know that you may be frustrated or you may be aggravated at them or their comments or whatever they said. Take a breath. Count to ten. Step back for a minute. Come back to your message or come back to that person and say, kill them with kindness, whatever it is. Thanks, Marsha. And it may make them think differently. It may make them apologize to you and say, I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> you just never know. Or it can make them just lash out you, at, at you even more. And then you just walk away and say, you know what? That's your problem. Um, hence, capitalize, bold, your problem. Not mine. See ya. <laughs> and walk away okay so i'm gonna put this on hey tanya are you still on a high for the girls i am i'm loving it i'm so proud of them <laughs> okay so there we go elizabeth i just love you girlfriend I, I just want you to know how much i appreciate you like i'm not even joking like i wanted yesterday i wanted to get up off of those bleachers and come to you and just give you a huge hug but i knew you would probably look at me like i was like the crazy insane lady <laughs> so next time I see you I'm just gonna give you this great big hug and you're gonna say okay thank you and accept it <laughs> okay is that a deal 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 so funny okay so there is gold cut so it kind of makes you um did you see what Brandy said no wait let me let me see where did you say it oh I spoke to the person who apologized to y'all the other day at the ball field. oh <laughs> Brandy, because your name was brought up, sister, last night. She is a very nice person. It was so big of her to reach out to make a, I, Amen. Thank you for letting me know that, Elizabeth, because I keep dropping stuff in the floor. But I told her, I was like, do you know who Brandy is? And she was like, no. And I was like, she was the one sitting here by all the pizza. You know, she was the hungry one. <laughs> 
But I told her, I said, she always, I have her and one other girl that has always got my back no matter what because they know that I'm just going to just be nice and kill them with kindness and either that or just walk away. And, she, and they always have my back and I love them for that because they're my girls. And I was just like, so you need to talk to her because she is, she is a super sweet person. So, but she was just trying to protect and, 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 and you know, stand up for me like I was doing for my husband. So I'm glad that we have all been just one big happy family. Can't we all just get along? <laughs> I love it. And I, Elizabeth, without you doing that, I would have never known. And I would have, it would have just kept one and one. And I would have thought in the back of my head, man, that girl was so ugly to me and to, you know, the whole situation. And I would have never known any different because I would have never known your heart. So I appreciate that. I love you, girlfriend. I truly do. I truly mean it. So when I come up to you and run and give you this big, huge hug in Beckley, don't think I'm a nut. <laughs> so, okay, let's set this look um, for the day. I did get my behold in yesterday, but I'm using the rest of this one. So my makeup stays because I got to go run errands while Glenn's mowing grass and then we got to get on the road. <laughs> Or maybe if you're not a hugging person, tell me in advance. Because I have a girlfriend that I love. She was on here earlier. And she is not a hugger. I am a hugger. By all means, I love hugs. To me, that just says so much. It can say so much. So. Ah, okay. Alrighty. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, yes. We are all good people. I'm so glad you did, Stephanie. And I am so thankful Glenn and I were talking about you too yesterday because I told him that you were on my live yesterday. And I said, you know, I really love that girl. And he goes, you know what? She is super, super sweet. And I was like, I know. I love that family. So I'm so thankful for All Stars, um, Stephanie, because I'm like, you know what? I wouldn't have got to know you more had we not had that. So, you know, I'm so thankful. And I, you know, you all might have had a different impression of me, but I'm not, I'm not that ugly, ugly, um, black-hearted person so don't think that at all if anybody ever has a problem or a question or anything that I do upsets them or it doesn't make them happy I'm gonna put on some of our lip oil while I'm talking come to me and just tell me please because I say things all the time that I do not like I don't take think of anything of it because I'm either I'm very very sarcastic or I'm very joking and I may say something that may come out of context to somebody else but I don't mean it that way at all. I never say anything to intentionally hurt anybody. So please, if I step on your toes or I say something that I shouldn't, um, please let me know. Because, you know, and I'm going to say this, um, since Glenn has taken over president uh, as North Putnam Little League, I see a huge difference in everybody. Like, I feel like everybody's coming together and it is like a huge family. I have on Prodigal today, Vicki, with a little bit of our Sunset Highlighter in the center. And then I just now put this uh, lip oil on because I'm obsessed with the lip oil. <laughs> but I just want to say that everybody, and, and I started to write a message in North Putnam, and I think I still will, about how I just feel like it's turned into one big, great, big, huge family. And I'm thankful for the new friendships that we've, that we've found. God, I'm emotional today. What is wrong with me? I need to go take my medicine. <laughs> Like, my tears are just like, Whoop. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get off here so I can quit being so emotional. Let's clean up these little tears off the side. They're happy tears. They're joyful tears because I am so thankful for everybody. Uh, Brandy, he did cry. If you watch the live when he's in the bundle with them, the little where he was um, talking to him, he was, he was crying right before they did the... Um, what do you call that? The floss, <laughs> the floss dance. So he was, he was, he's still so extremely happy. He's like, I want to get so-and-so this and I want to get this and I'm, we're going to get a, a banner and we're going to, we're going to shout it out. And he wanted me to message coach kid, but I don't, coach kid didn't get my message last night. So, I mean, he's just over the moon and I'm just so happy for him because he feels that he's making change too. So, alrighty, I'm getting off here before I start balling really. And I think I need to go put on another undergarment because this one is irritating me and the straps are falling down and I've put them up like 65,000 times. <laughs> so, um, Brandy, this waves for you and Destiny. <laughs> I love you girls. It's like Elf. Hello. I will talk to you guys later. 
Stay tuned for some lives and some videos and pictures coming up from our trip to Kentucky and Georgia to see my mommy and my family. My sissy's coming down with her kids. And maybe I'll get to see my friend Tara that lives in Georgia. I can't wait. I miss her so, so bad. And I will see you guys probably tomorrow or tonight or something. Watch out for me. I'll make a notice and let you guys know. But if you're not in my VIP group, comment VIP here. I would love to have you as one of my ladies. And we have a special bond in there. So thanks for sharing. Thanks for liking. And if this touched your life or something that you're going through today, please give me a heart in the comments. Give me a heart emoji in the comments. And even if it's replay, you can hashtag replay and put a heart in there and let me know that this conversation that we had today touched your life or touched something that you were going through and you needed those words too. And we're going to say thank you, Jesus, because he's the one who gave us all of this information for me to say to you. So, all right, guys. Stephanie, I will absolutely add you, girlfriend. Thank you so much for the hearts, for the love. I love you guys, and I will see you back here later. Bye, guys.